So, you have set on your mind on studying microcontrollers and even bought a laboratory bench for this purpose. And now you sit and watch its LEDs flickering and have no idea what to do next. We'll try to help you through this process of writing and execution of the first program for the microcontroller as an example of using easy AVR 5 a board. All you need to start work is there on the disk supplied. These are drivers, a program to work with a built-in programmer, main technical documentation and several versions of compilers. Install the drivers, then connect the board to port USB. If a new device appears in a system, it means the drivers have been installed correctly. If not, make sure that you have installed the drivers for your version or operating system. Then install the software to work with a built-in programmer, in this case AVR Flash. After installation you can see the status of memory and the fuse of the microcontroller bits. Download and view in the hexadecimal mode the program stored in the chip memory at the moment as well as download read to run firmware stored in the hex file. And in order to write your own programs and adjust them, you will need a compiler. You can choose Micro C, Micro Pascal, or Micro Basic. There are no fundamental differences between them. The only difference is the syntax or language. Therefore, it is recommended to choose the one you are most familiar with. After we install and run the compiler, we can immediately see the first program, LED blinking which can be immediately compiled and located into memory of the controller and then observed in the course of work. And you can make small changes such as forcing the microcontroller to display the numbers from 1 to 255 in a one-bit string of LEDs. Now we set a cipher variable, remove unnecessary lines and make a cycle that will iterate its values from 1 to 255 and display them in the binary form on port C. Here we compile and load program from memory of the controller. Watching its work you can also recall the binary number system 1, 10 or 2.11 or 3, 100 or 4. That is how easy and naturally we wrote the first program for the microcontroller and run it on the debug board. And most importantly, we had no problem creating and assembling it, as well as searching software and documentation for it.